Well, it's that time of year again. Time for the STWWW. And as usual, I'd like to give you a video tour of my collection. We start off this year with the uh, mobiles, partly because I like showing off my award winning steam dray. But uh, also on this shelf is a uh, nice little Mamad steam wagon there, which I've converted to radio control a long time ago. And next shelf down we have some rollers, some Mamad SR1. It's the uh, the first one, 1961. David Old and uh, Valesco. And down here we have a couple of traction engines. There's a Wells School Project traction engine there. And a Mamad T1. There's a space there which normally has my uh, Red Devil which at the moment is up on the workshop bench being converted, being modified, upgraded, improved for next year's STL event. Uh, down here we have SA1, Mamad SA1, being watched over. I haven't moved much since last year by this motley crew here. And over to the locos we have uh, Hornby, a Stevenson's rocket there, three and a half inch gauge one. There's another of my own creations, Aveling and Porter look alike based on a T1 and uh, sorry about the poor light here uh, there's a Bowman 234 in the shadows in back there it's a Mamad SL6 the uh, Jubilee version Maxwell Hemmons Birmingham Dribbler there and on this shelf we have a Stanley style Sherabang, game made by me, and another steam car of mine. It's a very early style. And tucked down here is a little Japanese Garkin three wheeler, which uh, is very it doesn't really work <laughs> it's uh, I think it's probably worn out it's got uh, mostly plastic parts and over here we have a nice row of miniature engines uh, several here made by Ben Peak in Australia a few assorted Engines, uh, Lesco D2 there, USE engine at the back, a couple of microcosm engines, SEL engine there, as uh, so the Bittleston engine, and several engines there made by. Phil Gravit, Phil Craft. Now over to the stationaries. Starting with the big boys here, there's a Willesco D16 and Bing, can't remember, to 130 stroke something. That's uh, about 100 years old. And 
there's a Suffolk steam there, another one which I've never actually got working. Next shelf down we have an Empire B31. It's a Halger John Ericsson and a GPM engine. D1 point something I think can't remember uh, it's an East German engine on this shelf we have a uh, little red engine there which unfortunately has a leaking steel boiler so that's not working uh, the ADE engine there And then we have a Whedon 900 and something, Jensen 70, and the Index electric engine. Next off we have a nice uh, Steamco engine there. And then another Whedon, Whedon 14. Few bits missing, unfortunately. But, uh, and then here we have my only non-American electric engine. It's a Willisco D10 EL. And then there's a couple of American electric engines, um, electrically heated engines. It's misleading to call them electric engines. They are steam engines. Uh, there's the Marv Industries horizontal air and the other Marv Industries John Fulton line vertical and down on the bottom shelf there is a Josef Falk engine and Willesco D141 I don't normally go in for accessories but uh, as this one has the engine built in I uh, made an exception that's uh, basically a D14 engine built into a workshop and over on the wall shelves here the top shelf there's a couple of CK engines there's a V-twin and a number one and then there's the, the, the little uh, Hoppitech engine built from a kit and there's a Fleischmann there and we'll let's go D5 next shelf down we have some SEL engines so junior, minor, standard, major, twin cylinder and there's a well, let's go D52 Marine engine which I've mounted onto a board there just for display purposes because the uh, boiler and engine are separate and here we have uh, an unidentified engine which is probably a scratch build it's a very nicely made one though it runs very well and we have a Bernac as uh, the Mersey Latimer plane L4 and Willesco D3. Next shelf down, let's uh, start off with, a, with the other Bing. It's also about 100 years old, a little vertical there. And there's a Kleinemeyer engine house, the Wilson. Let's see. Uh, MF Steam, MF Twin, just a copy of the or Repro Dynamod MM2 twin cylinder, and there's some genuine Mamods, Mamod Minor 1, a couple of bar, uh, Minor 2s, flat base and waves, Beret's base. And then there we have 
an SP2. And then here we have another Kleinemeyer, it's a Meccano style engine. Here we have a T Hayes, another school project. Got more school project projects. It's a Weller AM Mark One and Core Lodge. Sorry, the AM Mark Four, I think. Aubrey Manor Mark Four and Court Lodge Mark One. And Next shelf down, a couple of well stationaries there, one with the cast frame and the one with the uh, bent steel frame. There's uh, a group of three unit steam engines, or coupled together as a triple. Three Mamad marine engines, ME1, 2 and 3. A couple of Mamad Meccano engines is a Mech 1 and SP3. Bottom shelf is uh, a Luton Bowman. Can't remember the model number. There's a an original Bowman 175. There's a good old faithful M101 and the twin cylinder M122. Uh, here we have a row of Mamma pre war engines SC1, 2, 3, and 4. Next shelf down we have a row of SC2s in the various stages of uh, development. That base with a brass engine frame, that base with a pressed steel engine frame, raised base with the uh, with the steel engine frame, and then there's the SE two A there, which is the uh, with a reversible engine, and then down here we have SP four, which was the sort of SP range version equivalent of the SE2. This is an unusual livery, black and white one, especially made for some for somebody. And then we have an SE1 there. SE3. And here we have a couple of sectioned engines. This is uh, the engine unit from a Wilesco D16, which I've sectioned the cylinder. And then here is Mamad SC3, which I've sectioned the boiler and the engines, cylinders. Here we have my first Mamod conversion, that's the, uh, the SE3C three-cylinder Mamod. And on the bottom shelf in this rack we have some Sildons, 13 stroke 1, 2, which is the uh, semi-rotative one, 3, Four and five. And back over the other side of the room, we have the boats. There's uh, some pop up boats Titanic, the uh, Hamburger Thunder Cruise, a few small pop pops. And there's a couple of big ones here, there's the Therans, Cabin Cruiser, and the Midwest Fantail.